if you're trying to steal a ship that's landed on a planet, the best thing to do is to sneak past the crew once they've come out of the cargo bay and walked onto the surface. If you can sneak past them without shooting them or engaging with them, then you can steal the ship. What I found it is also possible to kill everybody inside once they've initially landed before they even manage to get off. You can then work your way into the ship and dispatch everybody inside and clear out the ship, including the main cabin, and then you should be able to take it over. One thing to note is you'll see that I have actually boarded a ship that has now taken off into space, so not necessarily ideal, as I want it to stay on the planet's surface, but it is possible to do. It can be a little bit tricky though. Once you've cleared out everything inside, you can then take the ship over and register it. More on that in a second, because there is actually a really quick way to do this you might not be aware of. The better way to do this is to sneak past the guards and not even engage with them. However, if you have got a suppressed weapon and the ability to sneak, so going crouch and maybe using the chameleon armor that makes you invisible, then you can pick them off if you're careful with a few headshots. As long as they don't fire at you, you should be fine. You can then sneak your way onto the ship and then deal with everybody inside and then you can take it over and make it your own. Obviously there is some use to this because you can get in the ship, claim it as your own and then sell it and make some money. You can also loot everything inside including the captain's locker and the cargo hold so that's well worth doing. Once you're inside you'll hear the alarm going off but then if you just clear out the cabin and any other areas in the ship you should be able to take it over. The bigger ships have a lot more rooms to work through but if you kill everybody in there and loot everything as you're going, you can get a good bit of money out of this, so it can be worth doing. And you'll often find ships just randomly landing on planets quite a lot if you're exploring, so it can be good to do. I managed to get four different ships off this one planet, for example, and then just make profit from that. Now, if you get into the sea, obviously you can claim that ship as your own. Sometimes you might find that you can't because the ships are higher class than you can actually fly. And I'll show you a tip for that as well. But if you go into the main menu and then click on the ship itself on the left hand side, you'll see that there's an option in the bottom right to make this your home ship. So the ship that you've taken over, you can make it your home ship. And then once you've done that, you can then register from here. So you don't actually have to go to another planet. You'll see the option then becomes to register. You will have to pay credits to do so though, so you will lose some value. Some of the skills in Starfield allow you to upgrade your ship and do other things, but some of them require you destroying various different ships. You can see here, I've got to destroy 30 ships to unlock this piloting skill. This can be pretty tricky, but you'll see there are others in the science menu, for example, this one that gives you extra point of power from the reactor. That again requires you destroying ships. This can mean that you've got them fly around, look for ships to destroy, which can be a bit of a mission and a pain because you can't guarantee that there will be some. But there is a workaround for this. In the Alpha Centauri system, there's actually a place that you can go where you can easily churn your way through loads of ship kills without any problems. If you head over to the Mars district on Jemison, which you've probably been to already because it's part of the main storyline, then there's a place there where you can actually go into a ship simulator. The ship simulator gives you a virtual ship experience, which is good for learning space combat, but more importantly, it also helps you rank up those skill points. So if you head over to the Vanguard building in the Mars district of Jemison, you can then sign up to join the Vanguard. So talk to the commander here and he'll talk you through basically the process, which is fairly straightforward. You basically just have to follow an elevator down, then go into the relevant place in the building in order to access the pilot simulator. Now the pilot simulator will basically put you into a virtual simulation where you then have a ship that's different obviously from your main ship and you're fighting against various different virtual ships. The bonus of this is obviously not only is it a main quest line, but also it will allow you to rank up those skills by killing loads of ships. You can also use these debugging tools, make note of where that console is in the ship, because that will help you with some upgrades that will help you pass through this. Now this is done in waves, so there are more and more difficult waves to get through to complete the quest, but also just doing it will give you those extra points of killing ships, and it is a really easy way to do it. Now, if you get out of the pilot's seat and go back over to the debugging tool, you can activate a variety of different boosts. And this won't have a negative impact on the story 
on this quest or on what we're trying to do here. You can see that you can upgrade the shields, your damage and generate an ally and that will help you get through the waves but also just to destroy more ships. You work your way through a number of different waves in here with the enemies getting more and more difficult. Eventually they'll probably be so difficult that they will destroy you which is obviously unfortunate but it's not your, really your ship it's just a virtual ship so there's no harm to your actual ship and there's no problems and because these are obviously waves you don't have to go hunting in space hoping that you bump into someone that you can then fight you can then just destroy them and keep destroying them working your way through the waves and eventually you'll be told that you've got sufficient levels in order to pass the quest the important point to note here is you can exit the simulation ship or you can just carry on with those waves if you want to but if you exit the ship and then go back in again you'll start from the beginning which means you can then fight the low level ship enemies and make it much easier for yourself. You can also head back over to the debugging tool and access the authorized only section. If you've got some digi picks, you can hack into this and it's breaking into some extra boosts, which is essentially cheating at the pilot simulator. But this doesn't matter because it, what it enables you to do is to add extra upgrades and an, another ally, so a more powerful ally, to the fighting, which then means that you can kill more and more ships. This obviously means that you then are churning through not only the experience, but also more importantly, hitting those requirements for the various skills in order to get those ship kills and get the points you need to unlock them. So just work your way through here and it's a much easier way to unlock this so that you can then fly class C ships or just get those extra upgrades for the ship design or ship parts from the science tree and other things. It's really simple.